Walk like a champion. Talk like a champion. Play like a champion. One, two, three, to the PPR, I'm here with sophomore Trey Blackford after a big one tonight. Trey, tell me about tonight's game. Uh, it was just a good team performance by everyone. Everyone contributed. Uh, the line block. Our quarterback threw great passes to open receivers, and we just came down with the ball and played a great game. Seems like you guys have a very good coaching staff here at Tri State Fisher. Tell us about it. Our coaching staff's great. Our coaches just build us up and try to make us be the best uh, humans be human beings that we can be and honor Christ in all we do. And uh, yeah. Uh, looking ahead, you guys have Francis, a rematch with Francis Parker. What's it going to take to get to the CIF championship? Uh, we're just going to have to prepare like every week, just come out and play our hardest, do our best, and uh, just let the play do the talking. Final question. Tell me about the community around here at Francis Christian. You guys have a lot of support from parents and alumni and just head the coach. Yeah, our, our, so our community is great. All, all of our coaches love us. The parents, just, they're huge. Our cheerleaders, just everyone roots for us. And it's just a great environment to be around. Congratulations on the big match. Thank you. That is sophomore Trey Blackford for Tri-City Christian. I'm here with junior Josiah Sangale. Josiah, a great game tonight. Uh, you guys for us five times, I believe. What did you guys see on defense? Yeah, you knew you were going to see something. It's hard work, determination, and we just did our job. We got to do the job and get our job. Tell us about your coaching staff. Seems like everyone here has nothing but positive things to say about them. Can you emphasize on that, please? Oh, they're great. Uh, it's a great uh, coaching staff. Uh, we get a lot of looks and we just help us with the Final question, you guys have a lot of support around here at Tri-City. Can you tell us about that? Uh, Spread from the parents and the cheerleaders and the whole school has just been awesome. Can't thank them enough. That is Junior Josiah Sangali with Tri-City Christian. Deep down here with the head coach of Tri-City Christian. Big game tonight and they came out victorious 54 to 14. Coach, uh, tell us about tonight's game. Seems like at every phase of the game you guys were very dominant. Yeah, I think we were ready. I, I, I feel like they're a very well coached team. I know that they're not, you know, they're very low numbers on their team. Uh, uh, you know, out in Calipatria, but I was always impressed with their coaching staff. So obviously, you know, going into this week, we didn't look past them. We weren't looking to the next game because, you know, we know that they, you know, this is a coach that's been around 48 years. So as a coach, you know, I'm, I'm going to respect those men that have been around a lot longer than I than I've been. Um, I, I was always impressed with their game plan. What they did, they won, you know, they upset a team uh, a week ago, Palo Verde, that you know I felt like was probably a little more talented than they were. But to, so as a coach, you know, it kind of put me on alert. I felt like we needed to prepare and give them respect. I think because we respected them, the kids didn't take them lightly. I think we dominated. And yeah, you. Christian Salivo, Kaya Reed, the defense, forcing five turnovers. Uh, tell me about the young men you have on this squad. You know, our young men are amazing, uh, but I'm extremely fortunate to have the coaching staff that I have with me. Uh, coach Fanene is, uh, is an amazing football coach um, who sets our kids up for And it's one of those things where as a head coach, when you know that you can set one side of your team, you know, our defense aside, and say, hey, man, I trust you 100% with what you're doing, what he does with our defense is phenomenal. Um, I, I mean, man, I, I, I don't stress, I don't even remotely stress weekly about our defense because he does such a great job. But our kids, it, you, know, it's, you know, you can be a great coach, but if you don't have kids that listen and parents that teach them to listen um, or have a school that enables them to listen, you know, then it really doesn't matter. But we have all those things working for us, great parents, great school. Um, it, it's, it's a phenomenal school. I mean, I'm, I'm very fortunate to coach there. I'm a very fortunate person to get to coach at Tri-City Christian School. We have, you know, because we have such great families and such great kids. I'm going to follow up that question with the support around here, Tri-City Christian. After the game, you know, usually I see football teams, just the players gather, but you had everybody gather from parents, alumni. Uh, tell us about that. You know, um, I, I was very blessed to follow a man named Rick Brown, um, who was the head coach before me. Everywhere else in America, you look and you see head coaches when they leave. Uh, I think a lot of times they look down on the next guy or they make his life difficult. They're chitter and chatter and talking to the kids. 
man, I, I followed such an awesome human being as a head football coach. He's my biggest fan. But right now, I've been texting over in the corner. It's him that I'm texting. So the former head coach before me, he laid a foundation for me that made my life extremely easy. And because of who he was and all the kids that he brought up and how he tra he taught them in character, I mean, if I could be half the man he is, I'm going to be a pretty good coach someday. So I think it's it's the foundation that the men like Stan Bickley, our athletic director, and Rick Brown set that guys like me get to walk in and man, it's pretty easy because everything's already laid out for as far as culture. I just get to coach and do X's and O's. Um, but I, I do like, well, don't get me wrong, I do want to teach character myself and obviously it's more important to me that we're good men than good football players. But man, Rick Brown, Stan Bickley, men like that make my life easy. Awesome. Well, congrats on the big one tonight, Coach. Good luck next week. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Coach Tri-City Christian, next week they get Francis Parker in the D5 semifinals.